but man are we here for a good reason. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Sarah Hoffman and I have the honor of being on the public school board. Uh, and I first met Rachel actually when she was our nominated candidate for the NDP running in Edmonton Strathcona Provincial. And as you know, Rachel had very big shoes to fill running in the shadow of the famous Raj Paneel. <laughs> but she didn't let that intimidate her. She worked hard, she got out early, and she won. And in 2012, she won again, this time by the largest margin of any MLA running in Alberta. Wow. Woo! Rachel's proven that she's a winner at the box in terms of the ballot box, as well as the legislature. She's been a fierce advocate for all Alberta families, and in particular for those who are most vulnerable. When I worked with Rachel as a researcher, I remember when she stood up and stopped the cuts that were coming for foster parents. She also stood up for the kids who need our children's advocate. At that time, the advocate had to report directly to the conservative uh, minister, and she made sure that the advocate was an independent officer of the legislature. That wouldn't have been possible without Rachel Notley. <laughs> that Rachel has leadership skills, experience, and a proven track record for success that Albertans deserve. She will bring Alberta politics into the modern era. She will command lots of voters to come forward to stop 40 years of conservative control, and she will make sure that there is a strong alternative to 40 more years of conservative control. Right Rachel believes that we can do even better in terms of our education, our health care, protecting jobs, and protecting our environment. She has what it takes to rally voters. She is smart, capable, and a straight talker. She is our MLA for Edmonton Strathcona. She will be our next leader, and she will be Premier of Alberta with your help. <laughs> and incredible work ethic, 
and an open-mindedness to their neighbors and their friends who themselves come from diverse backgrounds. But as our province and our people change, our politics lag behind. We have an arrogant and entitled government that's been in power for almost 43 years. And it is still giving the biggest share of our wealth to those who already have the most. At a time when we need more schools, more long-term care, shorter hospital wait times, conservatives offer simply this, more privatization. Solutions that other places have long ago rejected. And nipping at these conservative heels, a wild rose party, hoping that when the conservatives fall, voters won't notice the fact that their positions are mirror images of the government they want to replace. Remember that in April, the Wild Rose and Conservative MLAs joined together to reject a plan to allow high school students to form gay straight lines clubs. Shame on shame. Now my friends, the research on that is absolutely clear. These clubs reduce bullying of all kinds against all people. But these two dinosaur parties, wrapped up in their dinosaur attitudes, stood in the way of students who would challenge bullying. And it is a perfect example of how out of touch wild growers and conservatives are with present day Albertans and present day Alberta. A modern day Alberta deserves a modern day government. We deserve change, real change. A new conservative leader isn't change. A wild rose government with the same tired ideas we've heard for the last 40 years, that's not change. Albertans deserve better than a choice between arrogant and extreme. We deserve a modern progressive government. We deserve a government that guarantees fairness will always serve as a guiding principle of all that we do. And so my friends, that is why I am proud for the leadership of Alberta's NDP. I'm entering this race with optimism. I believe that I have the experience and the skills and the passion needed to unify Alberta voters who want an end to this out-of-touch government. You know, in 2012, Voters cast ballots hoping for change. Albertans were actually ready to give the Conservatives another chance. But Conservatives let them down. And we can't let those Conservatives of either label get away with that charade again. We have a big job ahead of us. We're ready to reach out to Albertans who are tired of Conservative broken promises and scared of Wild Rose extremism. As leader of the NDP, I will not rest until we have brought those Albertans into our movement to bring a modern, progressive government to the legislature in Alberta. Because, my friends, I want to be Premier. I want to see an NDP government in this Alberta legislature. resources to do just that. Voters are ready for change. We're ready for Rachel! <laughs> Albertans are ready for a government that builds vibrant cities, first-class transit, and that supports the arts, culture, and sports. Albertans are ready. Albertans are ready for a government to invest in vital services that support strong, healthy families. Albertans are ready. Albertans are ready to improve access to community health care, to reinvest in long-term care beds, and to end bed closures in rural hospitals. Yes. And Albertans are ready 
They're ready to bring Alberta's investment in mental health care up to and well beyond the national average. an equitable educational system where class sizes are small and parents are not forced to choose between the overcrowded school on one hand and the school about to close on the other. And Albertans are ready for a modern province that creates post-secondary spaces and opportunities instead of cutting them like the Conservatives have done. <laughs> for the jobs of the future if we don't educate the citizens of the future. And Albertans are ready. They're ready for a government that manages our great resource wealth with their interests in the forefront. Yeah. The Conservatives and the Walgroves have, have gone all in on fossil fuels and to the exclusion of all else. Now I want to be clear. I do respect and I want to maintain the success of our energy sector. To continue that success, we need to tap into Alberta's energy expertise for the transition to cleaner forms of energy. Instead of being left behind, we should be the leaders. Yes. yes. A modern and strategic province doesn't give away resources at the least developed state at discount rates. Instead, we must renew and invest our dividend to protect and expand long-term jobs into the future. And as we cultivate our resources for the benefit of all Albertans, we must do it in a way that preserves our environmental integrity for generations to come. We do that by developing an independent, transparent, and science-led system of environmental protection something the Tories talk a lot about, but have done nothing to achieve. Finally, forward looking Albertans understand and know that we simply cannot afford to ignore the threats posed by climate change. Our province must commit to a clean energy policy that will lead Canada and earn back our reputation. We must do all this to protect our international standing, make our industry more sustainable, and be good stewards of our air, land, and water yes. for ourselves yes. and for generations to come. Fellow Albertans, I grew up in rural northern Alberta. Now, by watching my mom, I learned that you can never devote too much time to building and improving your community. By watching my dad, I learned that an NDP -er has to work three times as hard, at least, to get elected in this province. Well, I've been elected twice. And the last time with a higher margin than any other MLA in the province of any time. So I understand hard work, and I know that there is hard work ahead. But I also know that in Alberta, change is not only possible, it is inevitable. And if we all come together, that change can be good change. It will be fair change. It will be forward-thinking change. It will give us faith in the future for ourselves and for our children. I will work hard for that change. I will work for that change if you will. I will fight for those modern progressive values if you will. We can change this government and we will. So thank you very much and I look forward to seeing all of you and all of your friends and all of your friends friends. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of people you don't know yet. <laughs> out on the campaign trail, thank you very much for coming out. Today.